to my channel. It's your girl Darcia. So today I'm bringing you guys a zero to 100 makeover transformation thing. Um, I just want to film. I haven't filmed like something related to makeup in a while. So I came up with this cute little glittery look using a couple palettes. But it's really, it's doable with like affordable stuff. So you can use like your bronzer and your crease and stuff like that. You don't have to buy every single palette. So yeah, I am working with Yolisa hair for this video. So you will see a makeup and hair transformation do you guys like this color on me i think it looks like good but it also looks weird does that make sense anyways so that is that i hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to my channel if you are not and turn on your post notifications and let's just jump right into it okay so just before starting the video i know i look crazy but if you guys hear noises it's because of this guy he just woke up from his nap and it's lit clearly <laughs> going to start by applying the wig I'm not gonna be um, gluing it down simply because it is a closure wig and I don't like gluing down my closure wigs hey 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 the hair I'm gonna be using today the wig that I made I made it like an hour ago no Macy come here you're going outside you're going outside come here come 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 you're going outside. We're done. So this hair is from Yulisa Hair. Every time I read the name, I think of that vine where the guy's like, you look like Beyonce. And she's like, no, I look like Shalisa. Have anybody ever tell you you look like Beyonce? Nah, they usually tell me I look like Shalisa. Who the fuck is that? Me, nigga. I can't do it, but like, you guys know which one I'm talking about. But um, yeah, this is from Yulisa Hair. This is their, I think it says number 27 color hair it's like a strawberry blonde which i like a lot i was platinum blonde not too long ago that was a lot of maintenance and it shedded like crazy but this is a really nice strawberry blonde it's like really nice and like i just like the color because it's not too ashy and i feel like it'll look nice so i made a wig i asked them for a, a frontal but they sent me a closure i don't know why but um whatever it's fine it's, it's easier for me to apply so pretty much this is the wig I made. I plucked the hairline too. So yeah, I'm just going to put on the wig. First thing I'm going to do is put on a wig cap. This one is pretty like old and like dodgy, but whatever. It's pretty tight too. So my hair is braided into cornrows. You guys know that. Um, my mom braids my hair into cornrows. Anyone asking wants to know my natural hair is about shoulder length. Straightened I'm gonna be using a foundation just so the wig cap can like Blend in with me a little better. I'm just gonna focus it more into the middle because I am doing a middle part Okay, and whatever's left on the foundation brush I'm gonna be applying it to the lace because I did not bleach the knots. I didn't really have to there's a couple knots that aren't the same color as the rest of the hair, but I'm not really like fussy about that I used to be all about closure wigs, but ever since I like discovered frontal wigs, I've been so into it. By the way, their closure comes with baby hairs already, so that's nice. I plucked the hairline already, but I think I should like pluck a little more. You could leave, some people leave their houses with their wigs to just put it on and leave. I'm not that type of person, so I'm going to make some baby hairs. My biggest trick for baby hairs is to use hairspray to lay your baby hairs. I feel like that looks a little more natural. Um, gel tends to get super hard when hairspray just takes the shape of your, like, your head. I don't know, it makes, to me, it's a little softer. You can also use mousse. I use mousse too sometimes, but I've been really into hairspray. So I'm using the Got To Be Glued hairspray. This is the free spray. So I'm just going to lay some baby hairs. This is like the fastest way to put on a wig, I feel. I'm gonna use a little more mousse because I feel like the hair is like too new. It's not cooperating. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on the scarf. Um, this is a silk scarf. I like to use silk scarves or you can get, no, the cat's back by the way because he's been crying too much. I would suggest to get a silk scarf or any like non-cotton scarf because cotton um, absorbs 
whatever product you put in your hair it doesn't let it sit it just like soaks it up it like sticks to your hair which is annoying and gross we're done for the hair for now we're gonna go back to the hair later we're going to move on to the face I'm going to use the Fenty primer this is their pro filter primer instant retouch primer I love this primer I got this at the Sephora VIB sale whenever Sephora has a sale I would really suggest you guys to pick this up retails for $40 Canadian and I really like it and there's a lot of product in the bottle compared to other companies like other types of primers to hide my pores I'm gonna be using the Innis free pore refining primer Dina had a bunch of backups of these and she gave me one and I really like them I really like it it is I think you get these from Korea yeah she gets them from Korea Dina's Korean by the way um she gets her mom to bring them for her and I really like it I feel like out of all of my pore refining primers this is the one that really really does the job before applying anything else on the skin i'm going to be applying the laneige lip sleeping mask this is my favorite product for fall and winter i feel like this is worth every penny retails for 20 25 dollars canadian i think a little goes a long way you do not need this much comes with this little spatula worth every penny for foundation i'm going to be mixing two foundations i'm going to be using the flower beauty foundation in lf 10 and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color caramel I'm gonna be mixing these two because the Born This Way is too dark and the Flower Beauty is too light I'm going to be using my Sigma sponge use code Darcia XO at checkout for a discount code I really like this sponge for concealer I'm gonna be going into the rude cosmetics sculpting concealer in the color sand I tried this concealer not too long ago in a full face of Rude Cosmetics and I really like it. Color is a little pink so we're going to be topping it off with another concealer but this is really nice to cover your dark circles which you guys know I am prone to having. I have a lot of dark circles. And to top it off I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 25 medium. This is really light but I do really like it. Just going to blend that out. Now that the concealer is well blended, I'm just going to use the excess foundation on the foundation brush we use. By the way, this is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for blending foundation. I'm just going to pat in all of the foundation and concealer together just so it can be a little more seamless. To set all of that, I'm going to be going into the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the glow version. And just press it into my under eyes like so. It's really good to highlight your under eyes. Really nice for people that have dry skin. So all of my dry skin girls, you're going to love this. Um, it really leaves your under eyes looking so nice and glowy, but not like oily, which is really nice. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Rude Cosmetics Stop the Pressed Powder in the color Caramel. And this is just going to make sure that our face is well set. So we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna be using two palettes. Um, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Artistry palette. This is the Jeweled Crew one, the 9C palette. I got this not too long ago at the Sephora sale. These have nine beautiful colors with a huge mirror. I'm gonna be going into the color Rock Out. Beautiful, beautiful color. I really like these deep oranges as a transition shade. I already set my lids using that translucent powder from Laura Mercier with this transition brush this is the morphe m501 brush this is the morphe jaclyn hill palette um i really like this palette really nice as a first palette if you haven't bought a palette yet i would suggest to get this one i'm gonna go into the color hillster and apply this in my crease and blend it out with the morphe m441 brush i know you guys want to see more color in my videos i'm gonna try to do something colorful for the holidays, I'm just not a colorful person when it comes to my eyeshadows. With my makeup in general, I just feel like these colors complement my face more. But I'll try to do I'll try to hook you guys up with something a little more colorful. Now with my finger, I'm gonna be applying a color from the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. You guys remember, if you guys are OGs, I was obsessed with this last Christmas. I was, during the winter, I was using this a lot. I'm gonna be going into my favorite color, which is Can't Stop. And I'm gonna use my finger 
my ring finger to apply this all over my lid so I'm just going to pack this in guys look at this palette like Colourpop is not playing games with nobody like look at this and this is like with my finger only downside about this palette is that it's all shimmers but it's kind of worth it because you won't have to be buying shimmers for a long time now going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm gonna be using the color Jax right here and I'm gonna be using one of my favorite Sigma brushes. This is the E38 brush. Okay, Mr. decided to sit on my lap. And we're just gonna apply Jax on the outer corner of the eye. Going back into the M441 brush, we're just going to blend everything out in the outer corner. Make sure everything is perfect. Now for the fun part, we're gonna be adding glitter. Um, I'm gonna be using the Personnel eyeliner and mascara glitter in the color bronze. This is a beautiful eyeliner It also have like a mascara wand connected um, I don't use it for any I just apply glitter on my lids So I'm just going to tap the wand on my lid and just blend everything But not too much just like enough because we kind of want it to be like a sprinkle of glitter not like a full Glitter cut crease, you know, okay now for eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the essence super last eyeliner This is my favorite eyeliner of all time super easy to use creates a wing beautifully um, You don't even have to do your eyes before creating the wing obviously now that I've said that I'll probably mess that up But I really like this eyeliner and it retails for like three dollars So I'm going to apply lashes my favorite lashes are the Eye flare or the flare lashes. I don't know um, They are my favorite lashes of all time and yeah, so I finished a wing and one of them came out Amy Winehouse But it's fine. This is my good side anyways, so I like this side I'll probably fix this with a q-tip afterwards, but yeah super nice super sharp and cute So I'm gonna apply my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay girl. So my lashes are on and fleeky I almost woke up the cat Right, we good so we're gonna bronze the skin I'm gonna be using the Revlon bronze Zilla bronzer I don't know if this is discontinued or not I saw this at the dollar store Dollarama so I saw this there it is called the bronze Zilla I'm just going to use the BH cosmetics 108 brush this is my favorite bronzing brush and I'm just going to bronze my skin and just make sure that I look all baked I look like a baked potato is that a good thing? Okay, so now for blush, we're going to be using the Sigma blush. This is the Aura Powder Blush Cor de Rosa. Just to bring back some moisture to my face, I'm going to be using the Pearl Essence Rose Water Spray. You can pick this up at your local Marshalls or Winners. This retails for $10, but it's a huge bottle. You get 200 and 236 ml, which is insane. In my inner corner, I'm going to be using the color Fool's Gold from the Morphe palette, the nine piece one. I'm just going to apply some of that in the inner corner. You can use that or you can use any color in the um, Jaclyn Hill palette or even the highlight I'll be using. You can use that too. Now for highlight, we're gonna be using an oldie but a goodie. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This is my favorite highlight of all time. For lips, I have two options. I kinda wanna use the Kylie lip kit well Kylie cosmetics liquid lipstick in brown sugar or the NYX Teddy because this one reminds me of one of the new Rihanna ones that came out so I think I'm gonna be using this one this is in the color Teddy last but not least I'm going to set my face I'm gonna be using the glam glow glow setter setting spray this is a really nice makeup setting spray to get like a nice dewy finish but also having your makeup last all night you know the mister is so good like so so good okay so time to straighten the hair um like i said before this hair is from yo lisa hair this is the number 27 honey blonde straight hair i have 120 inch closure 120 inch bundle and two 22 inch bundles too i feel like they're 22 inch bundles are pretty long 
I don't know, maybe it's the way I made the wig, but they look really long, so that's really cool. And so far, the hair is super soft. Um, for a colored hair, I feel like it's super st soft. It does shed, but it's also because I just made the wig. I just made the wig because all of my wigs do that when I first make the wig. So like I said before, I haven't. I did the wig not too long ago. So I'm just going to straighten my hair. I'm using my straightener. This is a new straightener actually. It is the RX7 Nano Ceramic Ionic Straightener. I got this at Winners. I got all of my straighteners and hair tools at Winners because they're a really good price for the item I got. So I'm going to be using the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protectant Spray. I put this in my hair all the time. Only thing I hate about it is the smell. I hate the smell of this thing. <coughs> so I did straighten my hair before when I like made the wig. But I'm just going to do some touch-ups. This straightens really nicely too. I noticed that really quickly most likely because it is like straight hair already but i really liked how fast i can straighten my hair there i really like the fact that the honey blonde has highlights in it i've seen some honey blonde hair from other websites that um are just plain like a plain color like just bleached bundles no like love put into it i know it sounds funny because it's just like bundles but you really want your hair to look nice and as you guys can see there is quite a lot of highlights in this hair this is not a type of color that i would go for usually but i kind of like it i'm feeling it i feel a little weird i think it's because there's too much change the lip color the fact that the lip is a matte lip too i haven't done matte lips in so long and the hair color too I feel like when I'm going to put a nude lip, because I'm leaving for work anyways, I think when I'm going to put the nude lip for work, I'm going to like the hair a little better. I don't think it's the, the hair. I think it's just I'm not used to it. I just hope it doesn't shed. So far, so good. But last time I had like blonde-ish hair. And I was, but it wasn't this company. It was another company. I was like, oh, this is nice. This is nice hair. And then like... I literally had a bald spot in my frontal like a week later so I don't know I'll keep you guys updated but so far so good I really like it it looks cute I feel like this would have been a nice summer color should I curl it I don't have time to curl my hair let's see how cute it looks if I curl it probably looks cute oh cute I'll do this tomorrow I don't have time to do it now <laughs> it's cute though I like it I usually use like a literally iron, literally I use an iron to do this step, but I did the step with the iron when I made the wig, so I'm just going to be doing this step like so. It works, but the iron really gets my shit straight and flat. So that is it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you guys think of the look, the 0 to 100 little um, makeover transformation thing um i think i look pretty cute different but cute don't forget to check out your lisa hair i'll link everything down below for you guys all of the discounts that they might have they probably have a sale going on they always have sales so yeah that is it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye